Mmm. Just finished a bit of chocolate. Lovely jubbly. Hello, bonus footage then. Bonus footage. Fan dabby dozy. So we've just finished the uh, lesson. Uh, hopefully you've seen that. And uh, we're still parked up at Shoreham. Not done anything um, except for filled my face with chocolate and made a brew. So <clears throat> we're going to do the return flight. Pretty much the same as what we did uh, before. Um, just bear with me one sec. I'm just... Can't type and think at the same time. Uh, I'm just running a, a soap test on one of my hubs this weekend. So, uh, for work. So, um, yeah, we'll fly, we'll hand rail the coast again out towards um, Goodwood. Uh, and then we'll cut over, avoiding um, Southampton's airspace. Um, fly, I might see if we can do a nice uh, flyover of Odium. I don't really think I've got any scenery for there, to be honest. Um, in fact, I'm certain I haven't. Uh, but we'll fly over, we'll fly over Odium, handrail it, hand, sort of handrail's the wrong word, but keep out of this bit of airspace here. Um, but, oh, you know what would be good? You can actually see what on earth I was talking about. There we go. So we'll fly up sort of past Odium, um, avoiding this bit of airspace. That's what I was saying there. Um, <laughs> such an idiot. Uh, and actually, if I put the information view on, what's that? Two and a half thousand. That's three and a half thousand. So we can go into here. We just have to stay a bit lower. Fly over my old shooting ranges down there. Uh, uh, down at Purbright, Bisley Way, Frimley Park, um, and uh, is that Farnborough? Oh, Blackbusher, uh, sort of Sandhurst Way. Um, we we absolutely can't really go in into the TMA. It, it would just cause carnage. So we'll stay well away from there, um, and then up and into High Wycombe again, avoiding this bit of airspace. Um, so it'll be once we're in the circuit, we're all right because we'll be low enough. Uh, but that's sort of roughly what we'll be doing. Again, uh, the only two radio aids uh, will be Goodwood and Compton. Um, oh, we could actually use Bob. Bob. Yeah, let's use Bovingdon um, to get us sort of towards uh, Wickham Air Park. Booker. Book is the word I was looking for. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, that will get us somewhere close. So that's connected, so that's fine on the soap test. Excellent. So, yeah, here we are then. Um, same startup procedure as before. Parking brakes are set. Beacon can come on. Nav lights can come on. Um, Quick look around, yeah, it's a simulator, so there's no one here. Um, clear prop. Uh, it would be good if we actually put some fuel in. So, mixture to rich. Clear prop. There we go, lovely. So, Avionics Master can come on, we're still online. 122.8 for uh, Unicom. Engine should hopefully still be reasonably warm, or at least the oil will be. Oh no, it's not. It's actually cooled right off, hasn't it? Oh no, not completely. Still a little warm. Um, we're not going to massively wait for that. In fact, you know what? I'm not going to wait for that at all. Uh, so, on with the props. And out we go. You like me flying the Grob, by the way? Is it, is it sort of enjoyable me doing this aircraft? Let's uh, put joystick cam on. 
So I've almost seen my legs kicking the pedals there, but not very well. Oh, is that? We got another aircraft? Or is that a static aircraft? Oh, I think we do actually have company traffic. Not, not company, but we do have... Yeah, we do. Oh, it's another guy from BA Virtual as well. Ah, and we also have London Control on. Now, we shouldn't be getting in his way. Uh, but once we get airborne, we will tune over to him. Uh, he will see us, see that we are on frequency. Um, but we'll be able to talk to him if, if we need to. But we're staying outside of his airspace and uh, Tom's a, a good controller so he should just let us crack on because that's perfect what we're doing. We're outside of the radar service. So, so let's get ready for takeoff then. So flaps to take off. There we are, lovely. Wind is absolutely stinking at the moment. Should be going off the grass runway to be honest, but too lazy. So, props 2200 is absolutely good enough for me. Landing light can come on, strobes are white. Sure, I'm, tra sure I'm traffic. Uh, in fact, we can actually broadcast because we've got someone to talk to. Sean Traffic, Golf, Mike, uh, Lima, Tango, November, uh, Takeoff 0, 2, Departure to the North. Once we've actually got someone to broadcast to, we may as well. Canopy closed and locked. Doesn't talk stay up like the real aircraft. Uh, blown straight through 60 knots. And we'll trim for takeoff. Sorry, trim for climb. Get my words right. So Goodwood is on one one four seven five. Oh, that can't be right. Oh, one one four, not one o four. I did. Can I say that? Uh, and it was a departure to the west I wanted actually, but never mind, we've called it, so. Um, okay, so, mixture can come back now into a sensible range, flaps can come up. Lovely. And up we go. Three and a half thousand crews. Um, in fact, you know what, no, we're going to do two and a half thousand just to stay out of that airspace. Should really be kicking the rudder a little bit. Oh, not that much though. Uh, and we'll fly straight to Goodwood, so we know how to do that. So we uh, swizzle the uh, OBS uh, until we're on the radial, and then we just leave it set on that. Plus in one and a half thousand.
T's and P's are good. Fuel, <laughs> we've hardly used any. So we're absolutely good on fuel. And uh, what I can do... Oh, no, I can't. No, never mind. Ignore me. Chatting rubbish, as per usual. Um, we've got a stonking great big tailwind at the moment. That's nice. Yeah, I need to uh, tie in this spring a little bit for uh, light aircraft because this is far too loosey-goosey. Well, reduce reduce the centering spring. In fact, to be honest, I don't want the centering spring at all. Um, but tighten the the main spring. Oh, cloud! Hello. Right. Okay. So. For VFR, we can't fly through cloud, so we, we are actually going to have to descend. Um, right, lean the mixture out then for cruise. We'll just go around that one cloud and then see if we hit any more that low. Back onto the radial. Yeah, I'm not doing coordinated turns, I'm too lazy to put my feet on the pedals. And we'll just get ourselves trimmed out for cruise. Let the speed build up. Our, our ground speed is going to be uh, nuts again because uh, of the tailwind. Mm. Lovely. Uh, let's just get trimmed out there. Should do what I was taught and look at the position of the nose on the horizon, although that's hard because of that cloud that is definitely below us so we are going to have to reduce our altitude which means we'll get slightly less uh, fuel efficiency slightly lower speeds but um we're not hurting on fuel to be honest and we're not paying for it <laughs> uh, so i said we'll go over to london control london south center tom is on 132 decimal six Oh my god, this is hard when we're bouncing about all over the place like that. The ting. this guy here talking. He almost got that right, that read back. Not perfect, but Fine. Uh, landing lights can come off. So normally you would be in an airline as light landing lights are on below 10,000. Flight level 100, um, not so much if we're in light aircraft this low. No point burning the bulb. So, so five miles to go to uh, Goodwood. Uh, and then we will do an outbound of roughly 330 or so. Just uh, eyeballing the map there. We're 
quite nicely following this bay road is it oh hello my head's <laughs> that's quite funny um, just hand railing this at the moment really i am following the radial but loosely uh, when you're hand railing something you always stay to the left of it so if you've got someone coming the other way you can pass so to be honest i might as well just spin that round so we're actually no, the, the road's not going directly to the VOR. Oh, in fact, we can see Goodwood now. Chichester. And because we're quite low, we won't actually, we won't actually transit. So we're going to pick up the 330 radial, so we'll key in 330 there, there or thereabouts, and then I'm just going to cut the corner so we're not actually overflying the airfield. There's no traffic there, but you know we're not doing a full-on transit, um, so we'll just stay, stay clear of Goodwood. In the uh, make sure we've not had a contact me message from the controller. Someone in the you're a fighter. Oh, it's late. Uh, leave with four nine. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Ah, four nine zero uniform. Oh, Steve Potter. Oh, I recognize the voice. Going down to Jib. Ah, he's doing the flight we did yesterday. Awesomes. So you can actually see the wind pushing us off here, left to right, right to left, sorry. Six seven two, that's this guy. Shady Ahmed Mubarak. Uh going Heathrow to Berlin in a B three twenty. So we're sufficiently past Goodwood now that we can turn in and we will pick up this radial. You know what, I'm going to just increase it a smidge. 340. So we can get a little bit, a bit closer to uh, Odeon. So we're on the radial now. Nine, 
this guy. And from Brussels to Heathrow. One zero two nine are on the Q and H, so we'll go for that. Shuttle 4422, another Speedbird, Boeing 757, he's through to Manchester, so another British Airways. So you see that guy's clearly not, you know, hugely proficient or anything like that, but he's online, he's giving it his best shot, the controller's speaking nice and slow and calm, giving him options, saying, look, if you can't do it, just say, that's not a problem. Um, th this is what I do really enjoy about that sim. Um, so some controllers can get a bit touchy, but most of them, um, nearly all of them, I would say, actually, are are superb with uh, with new pilots until you get, you know, proficient, and then they don't know you by name. They just know whether you you're doing what you should be, or you're a bit wobbly all over the place, and they just accommodate you. They're really, really good for it. <coughs> Excuse me. They also provide quite a lot of training. So if you wanted to do some of the training packages, you will actually get an instructor and you will have one-on-one -on -one lessons with them. Very, very good. Highly recommend some of that stuff. Very good indeed. We're just coming up to which ranges are these? Uh, Longmore? Oh yeah, Longmore. Of course it is. Longmore sort of this area here. So we can't fly through that. Asking questions, that's exactly what you want to do. The controller is now going to be aware and being very careful with him. Very good. Guy just not following instructions. It <laughs> sounds quite funny. I like that. So I'm going to pick up Compton, uh, 1435. And we're going to pick it up on, on this one. So Oh. One, four, three, five. There we go. And we're going to follow whatever this is a three, four, zero radial there or thereabouts into Compton. So I'm not, not bothered about this one down here anymore. Oh, you can't see that. Sorry. Uh, this one now, that's the one I'm using. One on the cadet side. So if you saw the lesson, you'll see the difference between this one and this one. This one doesn't have a compass, so it doesn't spin. 
um, unless we spin it, unless we physically spin it. And if the radial we want to be on is to our left, it pivots left. And if it's to the right, it pivots right. If it's straight up, then we're on it. Uh, the horizontal line, that's your glide slope for your instrument landing. The equivalent, uh, so that will be, you know, too high, too low, so on and so forth. The equivalent on this is the, you might just see it, is the yellow diamond here. And in the middle would be on the glide. Oh, it's even labelled GS glide slope. Uh, we won't be doing that in this video. Because, <laughs> yeah, Wickham doesn't have a glide slope. doesn't have an eyelash. Green too, it's very nice. Uh, T's and P's are good. Fuel, we've still got over 50% fuel. We only took 75% with us, and we've done all of this so far. The outbound, the lesson, and now this inbound. So. So we just smidge off the radial then. Again, just a smidge off the radio. I keep forgetting my head's behind that, sorry, in front of that. See, and he's down on the ground at City, not an easy approach either. So we'll just turn left ever so slightly. So this is where we do need our compass because this isn't spinning, so we this gives us no indication of which way we're actually going. Compton, that's where we're going. Yeah. Just getting a couple of screenshots here for the thumbnails. So, bear with me two ticks. Uh, got that wind. That's our AF Odium. Uh, yeah, we're good to fly. We'll, we'll transit Odium. There's no traffic here, but Odium traffic. Yeah, I'm not pressing the button. The call would be Odium Traffic, Golf, Mike Lima Tango November, uh, transiting the airfield 1500 feet, QNH 1019er, uh, south to north. We'll report clear. transit it's uh, quite important that you, you fly over the threshold of the active runway so anyone landing or taking off is going under you you don't want to be flying on the approach or on the takeoff so the active is probably most likely this one I mean, there's no traffic here so it doesn't matter so we'll fly over the threshold here and it just means that we stay clear of anyone on arrival or departure um, see anyone in the pattern um, circuit to American 
uh, anyone in the circuit would have to be aware of this. And now the call would be uh, Odium Traffic, Golf, Tango November, uh, clear of the airfield to the north, 1500 feet, QNH1029. And from here then we'll pick up whatever radio we're on into Compton. There we go. So into Compton, so that's 330, so we'll turn sort of roughly towards 330, so of course this isn't a compass as well. Oh. <laughs> So, you know, we have to look at the compass to see what our heading is. And that will just keep us nicely out of any controlled airspace. And actually, I'm going to just spin it around slightly just to avoid a danger area. And we'll flick the DME over to this one as well, so 15.6 miles to go to Compton. Gulf Tango India just got denied a service. That's this guy. So he's going to have to remain outside controlled airspace, which means we wouldn't get a service if we wanted to cross either, or highly unlikely. It's quite busy. Um, and we are good to climb actually. What's this guy? On his approach into city. So we've got up to three and a half thousand feet, but uh, clouds lower than that by the looks of it, so we'll do two and a half. At the every half thousand feet for VFR stuff, just to give us a bit of spacing from anyone uh, who is doing IFR. And we'll just turn back onto this radial here. Twelve miles to Compton. That's about the same distance again uh, over the other side. So it's about six minutes. So then another six minutes the other side, and we'll be at Brooker at Wickham. Approach. 
So I'm just following this radial, that's all, all I'm doing, nothing special, keeping an eye on the T's and P's, temperatures and pressures, keeping an eye on the altitude, which I'm doing a very good job of, airspeed, and keeping a look out the window of course to uh, ensure separation from any other aircraft, but, uh, but there aren't any. We have got some in our immediate vicinity, but they're considerably higher than us. Oh, this uh, I didn't realise this guy's doing the horrible approach into the city where you're coming in the other way. Having a senior moment. <laughs> Be turning into wind, so um, our ground speed will reduce a bit. Fantastic job, that guy. Well done. So the VOR is getting a bit twitchy because we're getting nice and close. And then we want roughly. Zero six zero out of Goodwood. So zero six zero uh, out of Goodwood, out of Chichester. Sorry. Just wait for the VOR to fall over, which means we'll be roughly overhead. And we'll intercept that radial, and that'll take us just to the north of Booker. And then we can join the circuit, on, probably on downwind, um, and then go uh, follow the circuit round to land. 0.3 miles. There we go, there it is falling over. 
the radials to our right so we're going to turn to intercept that we know the radial 060 so we need to be further right than 060 so we can use the compass I'm just using this compass here So just past zero 06 there, my altitude has gone absolutely to pot, so let's try and fix that. Actually, the radio we're on now just going to clip the corner so I've done my uh, calculation on that very well so we'll just modify that slightly Benson RF Benson there we'll just pick up whatever that radial is uh, around about 5.5 five. So just knock five degrees off, not not too much. So we're nearly home, more or less on the radial. Now Bovingdon is on 11375. He's down, he made it first go. Fantastic. So we'll pick up the Bovingdon VOR now. No real need, Compton's perfectly fine. Certainly got the range on it. Should 
see uh, should see Boca fairly soon. Not a million miles away now. Just looking for the Chilton Hills. Oh, which are here. And we're just off the right hand side, so we're almost going bang on the nose. And we can see some lights. That'll be the airfield. Nearly there. Nearly there. So you see this nav stuff. Yeah, it's reasonably straightforward. It's all about the planning. Beautifully modelled, isn't it? Gorgeous. And actually, we can do a straight in approach here. That's the runway. Straight and approach it is. So we'll just bring the nose down a smidge, start a descent. As that speed comes back, our descent rate will increase slightly. So, landing lights on. Wings are 050, 17 knots, which is fine for this runway, that's the one we need to be on. Just keep this nice gentle descent going. Bit of wind pushing us left to right there, as you can see. We'll just turn slightly into the wind. There's no traffic here, but uh, if it was, Gulf. Mike Lima Tango November. Um, Booker traffic. 
inbound. Currently 2000 feet, 1019, uh, straight in for runway 06. Okay, so throttle back, props, oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, mixture to lean. Keep the nose up just to get that speed back and then we can drop some flat. Hate the slider. And we see the speed coming right back there. And flaps to land. And we'll trim for landing. Still getting blown by the wind at smidge here. Book of traffic, Golf, Lima Nova, Tango November, uh, short final 06. So I. I'm not stepping over it, I'm not transmitting. There's no traffic here to worry about. So I'm just doing it for your, your guys' benefit. I don't mind too much about a long landing here because we're taxiing all the way to the end anyway. Rudder. One of my better landings. And we'll keep the power on. Because we're going all the way to the end anyway. Smidge of brakes. Lights to red. Transponder to ground. Clean the engines for taxi, or engines, engine, mixture. There we are, so this nav malarkey does work. Good to know, isn't it? So there we go, people. How did you find it? I hope you enjoyed.
Lights off. Have light off. Battery is off. And there we go. That's it. Hope you enjoyed. Comments down below. See you next time. Toodles.